I'm Tal Axelrod, a multimedia reporter for ABC News. I wanted to travel to Campbell County in northern Kentucky to see how a county that voted for Democratic Governor Andy Bashir by five points in 2019, then voted for Donald Trump by almost 19 points in 2020, and then Bashir again by eight points in 2023. Thank you, Kentucky! <laughs> Voters told us that Bashir was able to win converts with his handling of COVID, floods, and tornadoes that hit Kentucky and establish his brand as a healer in chief separate from his national party. The guy's doing a great job. He, he really is doing a great job and he's personable. Republicans here also struggle to make the race about national issues like transgender sports and Joe Biden's presidency while running an underfunded campaign. Bashir's victory in Campbell County and statewide could offer Democrats a playbook to win the swing and Republican-leaning areas that could decide the presidential and key Senate races in 2024.